Hi y'all and welcome to my channel. Today we're at the range and I'm sitting here in the cabin and I have picked up another brand new tea sauce. Guys, I have four in all in my collection. And then for those that's followed my channel, I've done several videos on various tea sauces, 1911s. But guys, I've got a tea sauce A1 1911 Patriot. And uh, they come out this year. But what I thought I would do just to show you what I have got and uh, guys what T-Sauce does. And uh, I'm not selling firearms, guys. I just wanted to show you what I've got. I've got four that belongs to me and I do have one that one of my friends that I work with let me borrow. And I did do a video on one just like this early on when I started my channel. Uh, guys, this is not the one that I did it on, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And guys, if you'll hang around, I'll show you the new one I picked up there in a minute. But I wanted to go over the ones that I've already had and done videos on a little, little bit here, guys. And first, what I have, I've got the T-Sauce D10. It's chambered in the 10 millimeters, guys. It's a beautiful firearm. Ambi safety, whatever. I've done several videos on my channel. If you've not seen this particular uh, firearm in my videos, go back and check my channel out. I've got several videos with this particular one in it. I have shot 400, 500 rounds through this, not had any problems with it. All these guns have been cleared before the video. There's nothing in the mags and nothing in the chamber. Guys, they have been cleared. But I just want to kindly show you what I have got and the different styles. I've just got a few of them, but just different styles of tea sauces that are out there. I would like to eventually get them off. I really like the tea sauces, but it comes with two mags. All of them do. All the ones I do have. you got the barrel bushing tool. Uh, of course, you get the lock and you get the cleaning kit. Guys, and that's the D10 10 millimeter. Like I said, uh, I've done several videos on that. If you've not seen it, go check it out. Guys, this is the one that I've got the most response out of. And this one is chambered in a nine millimeter. This one's cleared too for the video. And guys, this is the T-Saw Stingray. And I've done several videos on this one. A real nice shooting firearm right here, guys. I'm telling you, you can't beat it. These things for the fit and finish and the price, you cannot beat these, uh, these T-Saw firearms. But like I said, I've got several videos on uh, on this on my channel too. If you're not seen it, go check it out. And like with all of them, you got to get two mags. Of course, you get your lock and your cleaning kit, guys. And you get a pretty good hard case here if you like them. And it does have a gasket in all of them. All these cases have a pretty good gasket in them to keep moisture out. And guys, this is the one that I've done a video on and I've not had this in very long, but I've actually done a couple videos on it just here a little while back, but what I was wanting to show you was, this is the is the the tank commander that I've done a video on. This 1911 A1 tank commander, guys. Maybe we can get it in there, but anyway, tank commander. Comes with two mags also, four and a quarter inch barrel. Guys, these, these are nice firearms. Now this particular one, if you go back and watch my video where I done the range review on it, I wasn't too good at shooting it. But I will get it out there and shoot it some more, hopefully today, and uh, maybe get zeroed in. But guys, what I wanted to show you, this one came with the wooden grips. Also came with these brown plastic grips, like the old classical design. So if you don't want the wooden, you want to go more classic. Right there, you got them. Got your cleaning kit and all that with it. And guys, we'll get down to the new one. Like I said, I wanted this one to kind of compare. This is the model 1911 A1 US Army Edition. And like I said, I did do a video on one like this. It actually had the wooden grips like I just showed you on the new ones. And my friend Wizzo let me borrow the first one. And I give another shout out to him for letting me borrow it. But he, get, he put the same grips, the wooden grips that T-Sauce is putting on them now. And maybe they picked up an ideal from him. But this is a more like a classical GI style. Guys, basically, the only thing it would be different is you got a lower ejection port on this one here. 
but I will be shooting this firearm today some too. But guys, that being said, let me show you what I wanted to make the video about. This is a tea sauce. Guys, and this is another nice one. I hope it does as well as these others. And what we have here, we have got the T Sauce 1911 A1 Patriots, chambered in the 45 ACP. Uh, guys, it is made in Turkey. These guns are made in Turkey. Of course, a lot of us know that. They're made in Turkey. They're single action, 1911 single action. Guys, they're imported by SDS. And this one, it's claim to fame, I guess, is it's supposed to be like a reproduction of the original U.S. military service pistol with some modern upgrades. And that's what I kind of wanted to show you with this one because this one is more like the classical designs. And if you see the blade side on the front, then you get into the Patriot. Hopefully I can get it in there and it'll show it. But this is serrated. It's a little different style. Then this this is more like the classical design, low profile, like just like a blade. Hopefully we can see that. And guys, the, the rear basically they're the same. Uh, guys, but uh, I hope this shoots real well and does like the rest of them do, which I expected it will. And also this particular one features a surcoat finish, which is a Patriot Brown. And maybe you can see it right there, 1911A1 Patriot. But this is the uh, sir-coated Patriot Brown. And uh, guys, the specs on this one, this is a 5-inch barrel. And it's forged, hammer forged. And we've got a little tag right here. Forged 1911-45 ACP. Uh, forged frame slide, Series 70 internals. Uses standard 1911 magazines. And guys... Uh, all my experience with every tea sauce that I've ever shot, the ones that I borrowed and the ones that I bought, I really like them. You can't beat them for, you can't beat them for uh, the quality. You can't beat them for the price. And guys, this one also, like I was talking, mentioning the sites, they say this one has the AI, A1, I'll get it in a minute, A1 GI style front and rear sites. And like I said, this is a step up. This is a step up the way this site's made compared to this site here. Guys, hopefully we can see that more like a blade style. And it is serrated to keep down glare. Man, put him a little bit of fingernail polish or something on there and highlight that a little bit more. Does have the manual safety. Of course, now this is a long safety. These are the long safety. Whereas this T-Sauce, it's got the, that type of safety. And this one's got that, so that's a step up. Now, it's my understanding, and some of you guys can correct me if I may be wrong, but their tea sauce is going to discontinue making this style. And my understanding is that they're going to replace it with this style, which that's just fine with me. Uh, guys, they're basically just a few uh, changes that they made. This one here's got the lanyard loop. This one here does not have the lanyard loop. Uh, guys, like I said, the safety, this is a long safety, and this one's not. Of course, the front sights. Basically, it's the same pistol with just a little bit of changes in them. Of course, you don't have your bevel here around your ejection port on this, this style here. It does have the lowered ejection port, but it don't have the little bevel, in which this one does have some bevel right here and uh guys it's serrated on the back like the old gi classical style and this one is also and guys uh it's uh also has a one short serrated trigger and i don't know if we can see that or not but it is a serrated sandpaper type i guess you would call it but it is a short trigger uh like this one here so it's actually pretty nice. The trigger feels pretty good on it. Uh, like I said, dry firing it. But anyway, this one here has these wooden grips. As I, and they call these the Turkish uh, walnut grips. They're the double diamond. 
double diamond Turkish walnut grips, guys. And they are pretty grips. I really like them. I mean, some people may not like them, and if you don't, T-Sauce does throw in these extra set of black grips. They've stepped up the game and started putting the plastic ones and the wooden ones. And like I said, my friend, if you go back and early on in my channel and check it out, I did do a video on one of these, and he did put the same kind of grips. If you go back and look, the same grips. Now T-Sauce is doing it. But with that being said, you do get your cleaning kit and all that. And guys, you do get the your barrel bushing tool. Uh, as with all of them, you get that, and you get, like I said, you get your cleaning, your cleaning stuff, and you get two eight round magazines, and these are nice mags right here, Metgar, eight round mags. This one here is still in the plastic. Like I said, I've never shot this firearm, and hopefully we'll change that today. Uh, of course, you do have your manual grip safety, and then you have your thumb safety here, guys like this and basically they're the same as the this one here uh what else can we say about it the hammers are basically the same sights are basically the same all except for just a little bit of change there this particular one here does have it does have uh, uh, a stainless steel uh barrel and like i said it's hammer forged slides hammer forged and guys, according to the specs on this, it's 8.5 inches long, and it weighs about 2.2 pounds. And uh, I just wanted to bring y'all along. Y'all leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Do, what, tell me what you think about the T-Sauce 1911s. Do you own 1911s? What you experience with them? Leave me a comment. Give me thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you've not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. And, uh, and share it, help promote the channel. And uh, guys, watch the videos in full. That really helps too if you watch the whole videos or all of them you can can watch. And like I said, this is a beautiful firearm. We'll get it out on the range and get ready to shoot it. There's one difference that I was going to show you too. This, like the classical hump on the back of them, this one does not have that. And I don't know, you know, they're calling this A1. Some of you guys may be able to straighten me out, but they're calling this A1, but it does not have the hump. It does have the straight serrations on the back, none on the front, which is, is classic, but uh, it does not have the hump like this one does, like this particular one does. And it does not have the lanyard loop. And uh, guys, it's just a nice farm. I can't wait to get out and send some rounds down range. Like I said, 1911 A1 Patriot. Sir coat, nice looking firearm. Feels pretty solid to me. The barrel feels, it may have just a little bit of movement in it. Real tight finish there. Guys, they all are. This in here has been shot quite a bit. And uh, guys, they're, they're just an all around nice firearms. And that, guys, and that being said, as I do with all my videos, I'd like to say there's a creator in heaven and earth. It created me and you in his image. We fell from grace and fell into sin. Guys, and without a savior, we will die lost and end up in a devil's hell. And the Bible says without the shedding of blood, there'd be no remission for sin. God told us that he loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son that he would do what we couldn't do. And he would die on a cross and he would shed his blood, innocent blood, sinless blood. And on the third day to prove that all that was sufficient, that mean you could have salvation, he was raised from the dead. And all that was done with love, for God so loved the world. No greater love than a man lay his life down for a friend. All that was done for love, guys. And if you don't know that free pardon of sin, you see the world going to hell in a handbasket and uh, everything going haywire and wickedness on the rise. But it ain't over with. God's going to be the winner, and if you're on his side and have you have his spirit in you, you're a winner. You, there ain't nothing here going to defeat you guys. Until the next time, stay 2A strong, get out and vote, and if you don't know the free pardon of sin, repent of your sins. Turn from your sins and ask God to save you, and his Holy Spirit will come in and do so. 
And guys, until the next time, may God bless you and your family.